Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray feeling good. Lewis, on the offices of Duke and Duke, 100 South Broad Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We are going to take a look at this treasury bond chart that I posted up. This was a four-hour chart. And, folks, I really messed up on this one. And I've got to show you why because, uh, you know, we try to get as many good trades as we, as we can. And we have had some really good ones. We had a really good one today in short soybean oil. And it's dropped, uh, you know, well over $1,300 so far, a little bit more than that now. And then we also exited our gold position and got a little bit on the short side, which was good. But I wanted to point out to you the thing that I did wrong. You notice those little triangles that are there. Those were the swings that I was looking at. And what happened was that last swing, I didn't look at the longer term trend line or the longer term uh, pattern on this. And so what I'm going to do now is to show you what I did wrong, and then you'll be able to, to see uh, why. We did a, had a really great day on Friday, but this would have been a spectacular day. Unfortunately, the trading gods were not with me on this one, so I have to show you what I did wrong. I did not go back far enough. When I heard that uh, Bill Ackman was talking about how heavily short he was, these bonds, and I looked at this pattern here, on the long-term daily, you can see the big ABCD measured exactly to the low, folks. 119.25, that was the low. It's rallied um, almost three handles uh, to the upside. Now it's backed off a little bit from that level, but that was still a big move. Now, this could be something really dramatic if this holds. But, folks, if it goes below 120, uh, below that 119.25 now, then there's real trouble. Because that low on the day that we hit it on Friday after the report was exactly a 1.618 and a multiple ABCD pattern with a three drive to a bottom pattern. You can't get that many patterns lined up together. And for me to miss that was uh, that was a, that was a toughie because I thought about it all weekend what I did wrong. And I know what I did wrong is I just didn't look at it in depth, especially when I was listening to what Bill Ackman was saying. He wasn't saying it, but they were typing in it on Bloomberg, and uh, that guy's pretty smart, and I, I just don't believe that uh, he would be doing that. By the way, open interest on that big update that we had in Treasury bonds on Friday increased, so that is actually bullish. There was no more short selling, so that's another thing that you want to keep in mind here on these uh, Treasury bonds and also with the Treasury notes. They are just very, very oversold and due for a rally. That's basically what I'm saying. Folks, as a pattern recognition swing trader, uh, the trend means something to me, but the pattern means everything to me. Because within the pattern tells me what my risk parameters are, and that's what I have to be able to do. Now, Tom Hugard has asked me to do a one-minute uh, epitaph of um, David Paul, and I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to give you a rough idea. Uh, this is going to take me one minute to do it, but I'm going to basically tell you that you know, David Paul enriched the lives of everybody that he met. I met him 10 years ago. He showed me his track record, and I said, my goodness. I said, how can you be so good? He said, I keep it simple, and I control the risk. He said, the secret to winning is losing. And I said, yes, I'm certainly aware of that because I know Tom Hugard, and you trained Tom. And he said, well, I didn't train him. He said, I gave him some ideas. And that was it. And that is the proof of David's legacy, folks. The best loser wins. One of the best losers out there is Tom Hugard. He makes he doesn't make thousands, doesn't make hundred thousands. He makes one digit up from that, sometimes two. So he is one of the greatest, no question about it. And it was nice enough for David to spend as much time as he could with Tom. And Tom basically had David as a surrogate father, and it was really quite spectacular. Uh, the relationship between the two. So he will be missed. Super nice guy. 
and he used to do these one arm, uh, do these one handed push ups that I couldn't get over. He was in his 60, he died at 68 uh, a week, two, 10 days ago, and uh, it was really uh, quite sad. And uh, anyway, I still think about it uh, to this day. Okay, let's take a look now uh, at the British pound. First of all, we're going to take it. We're not going to make the mistake like we made on the Treasury bonds. We're going to look at this on the weekly first, and then we're going to take and look at it on the daily. Our guest today for the break at the half hour will be Mike Moore of Moore Analytics. He's always got some great things. Oh, dear. I wonder why this happens to me, but that's okay. We'll get it straight here. Bear with us, folks. And usually it's the second time that it works. I don't know. I'm going as slow and as methodical as I can, but let's take a look. Uh, well, we're not going to try the weekly. Let's just go down to the daily with the British pound and see if that one will work. If that doesn't work, I just throw it out the window. I have so many technical problems today with Google, folks. Someone's hacked the accounts, and I'm not able to uh, get the videos out on time. And sometimes the newsletter was even returned. Uh, from some people. So if you didn't get it, you know, just be patient and we'll hopefully get this fixed today or tomorrow and we'll be able to look at it. This is the British pound. Uh, you can see here that we stopped right at the 78% level up there at that 130 and change level. And so far that has been the top, but it's still a little early in the game to see whether it's going to do very much at all. Remember, the key to this was the dollar index because it had made such a beautiful pattern. And I will hopefully bring this up and show you what that pattern is if uh, the trading gods are with me and sometimes they are and let's just get this up here this might not be one of those times but let's see if it is here it goes we'll get it up here uh, if this doesn't work folks I will uh, definitely get this thing fixed today or I won't be coming back on the show because I'm not getting any charts I can't really show you what I'm talking about Look at the, the, the 135 pattern, folks. There's one right over here. There's three right in the middle. And there's five right here. Plus, you have another 135. That tells you that that dollar index has made some type of a major top, which means the euro, the pound, Canadian dollar, Australian dollar should be rallying a little bit. Well, they are a little bit, but not very much. You'd think it would be exploding through there, but it certainly isn't. So we have to pay close attention because should we get above this line here? Up at that 103 level, this means that these markets are going to go uh, with these foreign currencies are going to have some spectacular moves. So we're paying very, very close attention to see if they do, in fact, break that out or break it to the upside. That's what the whole key to uh, what we're looking at here. So I hope that gives you some indication of what we're looking at for today. And um, we, as we said before, we bought the gold on Friday at 1955. We sold it out at 1982. Uh, we went short at 1976, and that was based on the video that I did, but I don't think you folks got it, so there's not much else I could do. All that was was a nice ABCD pattern on a 15-minute chart that turned out uh, that it worked okay. So those are the things that we're watching here today as this market keeps on trucking, and that's the whole key to watch this thing going. We've got a... Uh, we just hit, uh, we almost, uh, we just made another uh, ABCD pattern just now up here at the Dow Jones. We haven't made it quite yet in the S&P. That comes in at 45.35. But the Dow Jones has been the leader of the pack. It's up over 350 points. And uh, that's what's moving the markets, uh, you know, really, really quickly. And uh, we're glad to see that because the more volatility you have, the more chances you have for making money. And it's also chances of losing money. So the key is... Keep your losses small and let your profits run. Let's take a little break here, folks. 877-927-6648. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com 
TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level introducing tom o'brien's award-winning newsletter market insights your key to successful active trading tom o'brien renowned for his expertise in the financial markets has designed market insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades tom publishes his daily market insights newsletter every market day before the market open along with updates when warranted stay ahead of the game with tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out market insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Call, call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I was asked over the weekend, uh, someone that has been studying the ABCD patterns, and not 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 with me for not like a student, but someone's been read the book and listens to the videos and he goes to the websites and you know practice with the patterns and stuff. And he says, "Why can't I see what you see?" And I say, "Well, it's quite simple." I said, "You just haven't looked hard enough." And he says, "Well, I look I look at these charts all the time." I said, "Yes, you're looking, but you're not seeing. That's a big difference." I said, "When you learn to see." what the patterns are doing, then that's different. Just looking at them doesn't really mean very much. If you can see it unfolding, that is a whole different animal, and that's what you have to do. The skill involved in the trading, folks, is you have to perceive what the, operate, what the opportunity is, and you have to have a methodology that works. Well, my perception is I see opportunities when I see A, B equals C, D patterns. That's what I look for. Now, the precise methodology that I use is quite simple. Everybody that's seen me trade before knows that I use AB equals CD basically exclusively. That's why I'm only right about two out of three times. Sometimes I'm wrong three or four times in a row. Lately, we've been right four or five times in a row, but that'll be followed by a few losses in a row. So you just have to get used to it because you don't know which ones are going to work and which ones aren't going to work. But when I get into trouble, and that's if I have a couple losses in a row, I take a deep breath and I wait for a very nice A, B equals C, D pattern or a 382 pattern. The 382, of course, is when the market rallies back in a strong trending market and you're able to uh, buy it or sell it at that particular time at that 382. We covered that in the all day trading section. Now, to do this the way that I do it, you have to execute your trades without any hesitation at all because when you see the moment to act, that's when you have to act. There's no other way to look at it, okay? There just isn't. You just have to be able to believe without any hesitation that it's going to be a trade that you can put on. You don't know if it's going to work or not, but you know that it's a tradable pattern and you have to do it because you don't know which ones are going to work and which ones aren't. No one knows that, okay? So if you've got a valid signal and you ask yourself, how much do I have to risk to get into this trade? And you can answer, you know, yes to that. It's very small. Then you must take the trade because you don't know which ones are going to work and which ones aren't. 
And so that's that's really what you know trading is all about from the way that I look at. It. I'm a pattern recognition swing trader. I sure I get a top once in a while, I get a bottom once in a while, but that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a pattern that tells me how much I have to risk at that particular time. And so that's what I'm watching, okay? Fr frankly, right now, what I'm watching is I'm watching the S&P here at uh, 4530, okay? And it has a whole bunch of ABCD patterns that come in up here at around 4536. So that's where the old cowboy is going to say, hey, let's get out of the corral, put up the last shoe, get out the whip and ride this puppy. So I'll be looking at 4536, and if we get there, then by golly, I'll say this is the time where we want to be able to get on the horse and see if it's going to ride in the direction that we want. The good part is I only have to risk about six points on this because the market's not crazy. You know, of course, if it gets up there really fast, it's only seven points. If it gets up there really fast, then that would be a totally different animal. But we've had a couple of very nice uh, patterns here uh, in the S&P from the bullish side since early this morning, uh, actually last night, when the market could not even open lower. It actually opened a little bit higher, and that was the tip-off saying, oh, 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 this thing's not quite ready to go down yet. And uh, that's exactly what happened. We had this big rally in the da uh, Dow Jones of uh, 370 points, I believe. The S&P has rallied uh, 320, around 32 points. So we're having big rallies, but they're still following the patterns. They're not doing anything different than when we watch these uh, at any particular time. Another reason why this young man was having trouble, he just really didn't have enough knowledge about the market. I quizzed him about you know, Fibonacci numbers, and he didn't quite understand how they fit together with the patterns. I asked him about money management. And he said he really didn't do much because most of his trades were losers. And I said, well, okay, now why are you losing? Folks, he was trying to trade the S&P with a two-point stop. Folks, <laughs> no one can do that. Believe, well, they might be able to do it once or twice, but now that, that's just the normal flutter of the market. So that was it. So basically it, it boiled down that he didn't have a trading approach. So what I told him to do was to – uh, well, give it a little commercial. I said, buy the Floor Traders Handbook, read that. It'll prove to you that the ABCD patterns work, and then you can go from there. And so I said, okay, I'll give it a shot. Well, I never heard from him after that, so that's neither here nor there. So you have to have a methodology. you got to believe in it without any hesitation at all and realize that you're not going to be right all the time. The times that you think you're going to be right are the ones that are most dangerous. Uh, Mark Douglas proved that to me over and over again in all the years that I worked with him, which were five here uh, in Tucson. And then I saw him almost every weekend for the next uh, nine years while he was living up in, in Scottsdale. So anyway, he was a pretty, really brilliant guy, and uh, as was David Paul. David was the same way, a little bit different background and stuff, but uh, his his background was in mathematics. And uh, But he, he was certainly good, very, very, very humble and just uh, – those of you that got to meet him know he was really a stand-up guy that was making it, you know, really uh, a lot of fun to make it. Now, a couple things about trading is uh, that I got from Roy Longstreet. And uh, basically, if there's no mistake in guessing wrong, the mistake is in staying wrong. The difference between a professional trader and a neophyte trader is – the neophyte trader won't take care of his loss right away. He'll just sit there and watch it go and go and go till he's out of money. The professional says, uh oh, this is not what I thought it was going to do. I'm going to get out of Dodge. Okay? So if you remember the words of Paul Tudor Jones, folks, you know how great he is. Lose your opinion instead of your money. And that's a really good thing to live by because everybody has an opinion. It was like like every, everybody has an armpit, and it usually smells. So you got to be careful about opinions of other people. All you have to do is read Reminiscences of a Stock Operator by Edwin Lefevre, the story of Jesser Livermore. And all it is is everybody in that uh, bucket shop had a different opinion of what the market was going to do that day, okay? But that's not what counts. The market's going to do what it wants to do, and that's basically the bottom line, what we're looking at when we're watching these markets go up and down the way they're doing right now. So whatever you think you're going to believe, that's probably what you're going to experience. So if you believe you're going to lose, you're probably going to lose. If you believe you're going to win, you're probably going to win. 
So have that positive thinking for you or going for you at all the time, and you should be okay. But you've got to have a methodology, okay? You have, you have to believe it and hold it dear to your heart to know that, yes, it does work. And then just go for it. That's all you have to do. The problem is most people won't do the work. They won't sit here six, ten, ten hours a day, day after day, year after year to learn this. I did that. And so that was my years of medical school. Anyway, that's what we're watching here today. We're going to be taking a break here. And when we come back, we're going to have our good friend uh, Mike Moore of Moore Analytics. And on tomorrow we have... Uh, Grace Morris of Astro Economics. On Wednesday, we got the wolf trader himself, Shane Smolian. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, with a little bit of luck, I think we might have Mike Moore of Moore Analytics in the, in the house today. Mike, are you there? Hi, Larry. How are you? I am good, my friend. How are you today? Doing well. Have a good weekend. How about yourself? Same as same. I noticed that the crude oil made another new high today. What, seven weeks in a row it's made new highs? Yep. Tell us what you're looking at here. Let's start out with crude oil and go through the complex and then do some of the other magic that you have for us, okay? All right. So, uh, let's 
Okay, just a little back up in the uh, crew. Can you hear me okay? Yes, you're coming in perfect, yes. First of all, hello to everybody that's watching. Thank you very much for taking the time to come and visit. It's always an honor to be able to share on Larry's show. So, um, so anyway, the crew here, just as a backup of the, for those of you that have been watching in past weeks and months, on a shorter term basis, the break above 65, 31 to 31, a decent strength. We can see in $17.99 of that so far. And there's a couple other formations in here that have projected us higher as well. Um, let me just drill down one time frame. Now, the only uh, other issue is, is, is we had broken above a significant pattern here, pro projected upwards, just about hit that stop and rallied again. But right in here, this warns that this may be the last stretch in this move up from this low. And this may be due for a bearish correction. So we just right. came just shy of this exhaustion level right there at 83.44 with an 83.30 high and started to roll over here. Now, if we settle below this, it could roll over. So it's kind of confusing right here because we have broken below this formation and then broke back above it. So that's bullish right in here. But then we held this exhaustion and we're sort of floating in here. So right now the market's basically, it's kind of confused, kind of hard to say right here how to play it. But if I was long, I would, I would be overall long. I would have taken those longs off with a short here with a tight stop rolling down. If this takes, mm -hmm. takes this out, we do have a significant exhaustion level just above and here at, um, bear with me, 83, you, oh, this is at 84.17 to 84.41. Now, if we take okay, this out seeing, in this ascending line right here, then this opens up the, the upside to a run up into these areas, up into the 88.48 to 87.95 area. And this mm -hmm. ascending line came in at 83.39 plus 3.3 ticks per hour this morning, and that comes in at 84.02 as of this hour. Mike, do you see anything in the, in the gasoline or in the heating oil that gives a clue that maybe this is a time where crude oil might turn over? Um, not necessarily. I mean, the, the heat was really the one leading the charge on the upside, and uh, the unleaded's been more weak recently. I mean, the unleaded broke below this formation, which made it bearish, and then we held exhaustion mm -hmm. right down in here between this area and this area, and we're sort of popping here. So, in general, this is still bearish with the short-term hedge on the bullish side in the in the uh, unleaded gasoline. The heating oil... The heating oil has really led this charge up here. Now, it just broke above this peak and is rolling over a little bit, so that's not unexpected. Uh, but if we start taking out these lows here at uh, 296.78 to uh, two, um, 296.33, if we settle below those, that'll warn of a drop back down into these areas, probably the 283 area. And just to show the importance, again, of paying attention to the spreads that I'm always bringing up, like I said again to a lot of your listeners that have been or watchers that have been watching for a while, it's always important to understand what these spreads are doing. Um, and you can see here in this heating oil spread, this heating oil spread, uh, we I said we held exhaustion at 23.53 to 22.12, which had in mm -hmm. the potential to bring a substantial bounce. My idea of a substantial bounce means multi weeks kind of thing. We okay. held that with a 24. Um, 93 low in the July and ride 2,510 ticks. So, but more recently out of this, this run, you can just tell, you know, just in the past number of days up here, that's a difference in, in just two weeks of 14 grand per lot being wow. on the heating oil instead of the crude oil. And that's, that's why there's a, there's a huge edge in trading the energies and understanding what is going on in the heating oil and the ARBA because they are what are leading the price of crude oil 85 to 90% of the time. Got a question. If they yeah. lead them on the way up, do they lead them on the way down? Yes. Okay. That's what I wanted to know. I mean, you know, obviously crude will take over if, you know, we start having – Crude can take over at times when you have something that's more uh, crude oil centric. You know, if you have a war over, a war breakout, or something like that, it could be different. But just logically, it makes sense that they wouldn't be because 
they are the products that are driving the demand for the crude oil, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Just to break it down simply, I've done this before, but if anybody watching this or listening to this is, you know, if you talk to any of your friends lately and ask them if they bought a gallon of unleaded gas, I'm sure everybody would say yes, unless they get an electric car. And if you ask most of them if they've bought heating oil recently, most of them will say, yeah, in the past month to heat my home. But if you've asked anybody if they've bought a, a barrel of crude oil lately, they'll probably look at you pretty funny. <laughs> so that's what I mean by the, the demand for sure. the product is really what's driving the demand for the crude oil and not the other way around most of the time. Yeah. That's good. Um, and I'll just show you one other spread here. This this RBOB to heat spread is critical. Um, as you recall, I got bearish up in here. I said the break above 796 and back below warns of pressure and possibly a bearish correction. We've seen 3,945 ticks of that so far. Um, and just to give you an idea with that, is 3,946 times 0.42. Yeah, that's the equivalent of 16, 1657 crude dollars. So again, just understand being low on the heat versus the RBOB or unleaded gasoline is a different difference of 16 grand in just, in just two weeks on a single lot. Wow. You know, Mike, I look at these things, I, I don't trade heating on gasoline, but when you explain it in dollars and cents like this, it's truly amazing. It's like if you're long soybean oil or long soybean meal, and one of them is demand more than the other, it's the same thing. You know, it's just really amazing. If you pick the right one, you know, it really gives you a really good idea. This is the kind of information that we like to have. So thank you very much. We'll be watching it closely. Good. I'm glad. I just want to reiterate once again, I know a lot of your listeners probably trade natural or crude and S&P and other things, but... The reason why I analyze these spreads and I put them on here, even though they're very thin and, and, and uh, thinly traded, is the power with which they tell you whether or not to be on one of those products in a certain direction. And if you, if you are getting on the products instead of the crude throughout the year on big moves, you will make a substantially larger amount of money with your, your risk being relatively the same than you would if you were just trading crude oil in either direction. Wow. You want to take a look at the natural gas? Do you have any other oh, questions? Oh, yes. Before? Sure. I'm looking at it right now. It's having a heck of a move today. Okay. So natural, we got... Oh, we got to pay a few bills, Mike. Stay with us, folks. Okay. Yeah. Mike Moore and more analytics. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, speaking with Mike Moore of Moore Analytics. Please continue, young man. Okay. So back to the natural gas here. Um, Spare The trade back above 216.50, Warner Minute Strength. We'd seen 771 ticks of that. Then we, uh, that was a run up, and then we held exhaustion above at uh, 291.10, rolled over 454 ticks into a bearish correction. That's on hold. And I noted, noted that a break above 248.70 to 730 mm -hmm. warrants of short covering, which could be decent. So we'd seen 151 ticks of that. We left a, uh, a minor bullish reversal below two days ago. And then the trade above 260.90 plus 3 of ticks per hour, uh, plus 0.3 of a tick per hour, I said should bring in decent strength. So today, bear with me here. We left that minor bullish reversal below right there. We're also leaving a moderate bullish reversal below today. And this is the price structure I was talking about in here. I said the break back above 248.70 to 730 was this area in here that we talked about, I think, in the last show. We got above there, started popping, and we just broke above this line that I just mentioned. That brought in mm -hmm. additional strength. And now the break above this line uh, projects this higher. 250 ticks plus 250 wow. ticks is about the minimum so if we fail back down through this line that'll change everything and resume bearishness and that line comes in at 268.40 minus one tick per hour mm -hmm. let me just pull that up that, that's a huge move yeah so um it's looking and this also is a bullish structure and this is a corrective structure so i mean this all looks corrective in the sense that it looks like it's correcting to the upside so mm -hmm. uh, yeah bullish on that uh any other questions in the natural nope how about uh let's take a look at the gold market okay Okay, just a little um, backdrop in the gold here. The main story that we've been talking about for the past couple of months, obviously, is the solid trade below 2062.90, worn to solid pressure for days slash weeks. We had seen 162.3 of that. More recently, I said we are likely in the last stretch of the move down from uh, 2028.60 with exhaustion to be aware of at 1958.30. So we basically held this on Friday with the 1954.50 low and rallied. That was this green line right here. We punched through it a little bit, but not by a huge amount, considering how big the move is. And then we started to pop right up here. So we're really going to have to see here if this starts to drive back up and settle above these areas in here. If it starts to settle above 1978.30 to 1984.20, then I think this is going to start resuming higher trade. 
And likewise, if it gets above this, this formation and this formation, then that's going to project it higher. This higher formation is really what projects it upwards another $37 plus, and that's going to come in at, um, bear with me here. That's going to come in at 20.06.70 minus 0.6 of a tick per hour, starting at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Mike, what, what do you, when you say tick per hour, how, what is that? I, I've never, you know, I've been doing this for a long time. I've never heard anybody talk in, 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 uh, in time. It's always, you know, this is a price. But what do you mean by ticks per hour? Is, is it slope of the line, or what does that mean? Exactly. So this... Okay. This is what, what's called the trend line, and it's moving every hour, right? So in okay. this hour, I'll give you a demonstration real quick. If this so is the hour right now, this is, an, this is an hourly bar chart, right? So a 60-minute chart. Okay. Each of these bars represents one hour of price movement. So right now on the bottom, it's just 13.30, which means Got it's it. 130. Yep. Did you That's have what question? I wanted to know. No, no, that's it. That was the answer because it basically follows a trend, and if that changes, the time will change. Is that correct? Right. So okay, good. Every yeah. every hour, this bar is moving down 0.6 of a tick per hour. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or basically, for what that means in what that means in gold is six cents an hour because gold ticks in ten cent increments. Uh, yes. Increments per hour. Now. You might say, well, how can this move down point, you know, six cents if it, it ticks in 10 cents? It doesn't matter. It's just the slope of the line. It's telling you the rate of the change of the slope of the line. And that's important okay. because if you're putting in a buy stop above it of a certain amount, that needs to be adjusting down every hour. And you've got to, likewise, if you get elected on that and you had to stop below it, you'd want to be sliding your stop down below it uh, equivalently as well. Okay. That makes sense? Yes, it does. Okay. Um, you want to take a look at the S&P? Absolutely. Everybody likes the S&P. All right. So the S&P, I think we are at the end of this move down here. Uh, I'd said this morning, just back up a little bit. The most, I cautioned of exhaustion. I talked about this on the last show. At 46.18.50 to 46.35 and a quarter, we held this with a 46.34.50 high, and we rolled over 132.75. And then I said caution right here. We are likely in the last stretch of the move down from 46.34 and a half with areas of possible exhaustion at 44.91 to 44.90.75. And then these other two areas right here. We basically held this upper one right here. We came just shy of it with a, um, this was the first exhaustion level you hear at 44.91. We mm held -hmm. this with the 44.93.75 low, and we rally back up here. Considering the fact that we're likely about, we're likely going to settle above this 45.05.75 low, that warns that we may be in a, you know, just a minor bullish correction against this move down. We'll have to see what, what areas that targets on the upside. So what would that mean for us? That means that either that we could see a minor bullish correction against this move before heading lower and a whole new bearish structure, or this could have just been a bearish uh, correction against this structure and we could see a whole nother run up. So we really okay. just have to play it as we see it. Uh, right in here, I'd be long, taking shots on exhaustion levels, taking shots mm -hmm. on exhaustion levels and putting my longs back on if it blows through them. And then obviously at some point it's just if it keeps going up it's going to capitulate and blow through this. Okay, it's right on the money. Okay. Any questions on that before I go to the Bitcoin? Go right ahead. Let's do Bitcoin. We had two questions about it, and since you're going to answer those questions, let's just get right to it. Oh, we okay. might have a we might have a commercial coming up here. Let me check okay. the time on that. I think it's. Uh, Oh, well, it's got 44 seconds. So why don't you start and then come back after the break and we'll finish with Bitcoin, okay? Okay. But so go ahead go ahead and start right now. Okay, the straight and the skinny on here just lately is uh, when we're in the last stretch of the move up from 14.925. We broke above 31.655 okay. to 8.16 back below. Okay. The pressure. We've seen 3,030 of that so far. Okay, stay with us. We'll have Mike Moore and more analytics right after this commercial, folks.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. We're back with Mike Moore, more analytics, and we're talking about Bitcoin. Please continue, young man. we got two minutes. So, uh, as I was saying, um I warned that the break above 31,655 to 31,860 and back below. I warned for look for decent pressure. We've seen 3,030 of that so far. And then I just said, no, if this is a bearish correction, the minimum target would be 25,710, uh, which is quite a ways away down here. And then the decent trade below, decent trade below 28,598 minus 1.7 ticks per hour should also bring in pressure. That's this line right here. That's going to come in at. Uh, 28,586 as of 2 o'clock. So a decent break below there, a further push this down, probably down into the 27s. We break below there decently and back up through decently. I'd be out of all shorts. I'd be long and looking for that probably to run, run back up into these areas, up into 30, low 30s, maybe more. Okay. All right. Yep, looks any, pretty good to me. Any other questions on that? No, I think that pretty much covers it. I'd like to have on as a guest next week, so... Tell me which day you might be interested. Just drop me a note, and we'll have you back on because we want to keep a really close eye on these crude, this crude complex because I believe there's going to be a lot of, uh, what do you call it, opportunities, either up or down from this level because if it explodes, it could easily go to $100, I suppose, couldn't it? Oh, yes. Oh, and you know what? There's one thing I forgot to tell you. So uh, we, one thing we did not go over, and I know you're about done here on time, but so I'll just jump We got one minute. Go ahead. I'm going to jump straight to the chart.
just remember all you uh everybody watching that i'd said the other last week that the break above this general area 32 82 30 projects us upward 13 dollars and 90 cents in the brent so we've only seen a piece of that so far we've rolled over some of these exhaustion levels but if we start blowing through those again uh, we could see another piece there thank you very much mike we'll see you all tomorrow folks you bet Grace Morris will be our guest. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless.